Joining me right now is uh, rescheduled from last week Yo. is Stephen Piercy. Yay. How are you, man? Good. How are you? Good to see you. Looking well. Feeling good? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yo, yes. Having How's the health, man? Fun in the sun. How's the health? You good? It's good. All good. Yeah, no problems? Man. I mean, the cancer stuff, everything's uh -uh. behind you? Well, it's... Uh... You know, it's just a, a, a thing to monitor and every few months, and it's all good. I'm all good. That's you know? good. Well, you look good. You, you're, you're healthy. Working you got hard. a lot of energy. What are you working on? What's going on? Lots. Well, been in out of the studio preparing my next record, uh, just signing with Golden Robot uh, Legacy, and it's uh, the real compilation of songs from my you know career and mm -hmm. stuff from 70s etc and where a lot of these songs pretty much came from in your direction you know early versions and a song with warren that was never released last song with robin live stuff so amazing what live stuff. so what you're putting out initially is going to be archival stuff yeah Never before heard and stuff released. So are they outtakes from records that Rat made that didn't make it on, uh -huh. or, or a writing couple, sessions? A couple songs. Or? There are so I had so many songs and so many things to choose. I, I'm still picking and choosing. I mean, it might be a one in part one and a part two. Twenty songs, you know. We're gonna uh, release twenty songs first. It's amazing stuff. Sitting around the studio, you know. Is it just uh, audio, or is there video too? Uh, it's audio. It's audio. Yeah. Because, you know, speaking of... I have pictures and all that stuff. Well, you know, that's what I was going to bring up. There was a documentary that was done on you uh, that I saw not too mm. long ago. Um, I forget the nothing name. Nothing to a lose. A-S-Y... It's uh, TV. Nothing yeah. to lose. Yes, yes. And in that, when I watched it, there was a, a moment where you're in your, your place and you're going through boxes... Sure of photos and exactly. it's kind of jogging your memory. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of like where the stuff came from that you just exactly. discovered it? I have hundreds and hundreds of cassettes, two track, micro cassette, uh, uh, even two inch uh, rap masters and, and any kind of format you could think of I've been recording on forever. And it's about time to, you know, unleash my history per se, late seventies to uh, currently. Are you always a guy that did you collect things? Did, were you kind of like the archivist in the band? Were mm -hmm. you the guy? 100%. That... I don't know why. It's not like I, you know, <laughs> but now I make it a thing. You know, I need a pass. I need a laminate. I need a poster. And, you know, it just goes in the vault. You were know? you good with organizing it or is it all over the map? Uh, I'm pretty good at organizing. You Except are. Except the tapes. I mean, I ha you know what? I have a ton of, of visual. I'll take that back. You know, the VHS. Yeah. Because I used to run around with one of those big cameras all the time. Off the road, on the road. <laughs> yeah, those big goofy things. Isn't so it, did I Blosser, so isn't did it in the I Want a Woman video? Isn't that you guys running around with cameras taking yeah. some of that footage, I uh -huh. think? I think yeah, I remember yeah. that, actually. Yeah, pretty funny stuff. So I have a lot of visual, too. I mean, it's insane. And so I've decided I'm going to put some of that out and let people uh, see the beginnings of the band Rat. You know, and speaking of Dorian. speaking of, you came in and you brought me this. Yes. Now, my good friend Brian Slagle, who is the uh, has been here many times, has been on the show many times. Uh, they are celebrating uh, uh, Metal Blade Records, celebrating the 40th anniversary of the label, and they are reissuing stuff and doing parties. And Brian's been on several times to talk about it. Mm. I, this is the first Metal Massacre record on Correct. vinyl, which is being reissued. Which it is was where, reissued. Which is re reissued, which is where Metallica... Right. First ever recording was on this record, Hit and the Lights. And same with Rat, except it was a different drummer and bass player on here, Matt Thorne and Kurt Meyer. So that's what I'm getting at, because I did not know that Rat was initially part of this. Mm -hmm. Is this the earliest Rat recording? 100%, yeah. Now I'm looking at the lineup. It's you, Robin, yeah. Warren, yeah. Matt Thorne on bass, yeah. and Kurt Meyer on Kurt drums. Meyer. He was in a band called Salty Dog, and he played in Rat for a time being, and uh, so be it. And Matt, to this day, Matt Thorne produces in all my solo stuff. And, and he went on to Rough Cut, didn't he? Yeah, rough later cut, right? in the years, correct. So, so what year was this? Uh, Eighty-two. Early 82, I believe. And the song is Tell the World. Tell the World. How long had Rat been together at this point? Uh, God, 
God, we really haven't been together. We were just creating the band pretty much, you know. Uh, Robin and I, you know, going through people, you know, and uh, pulled Warren in first. I was going to say, I'm surprised Warren's mm -hmm. on this mm -hmm. because pulled he him in first. It's amazing. I'm still trying to figure out. I was telling Christy how I got on this record because it was a big deal. You know, Metallica, Bitch, Surath Ungol, uh, Black and Blue is on there. Steeler. Uh, Steeler, Ron Keel, uh, but see Malice. The but see, you ask how you got on this record, but this is 81, 82, yeah. and Metallica was unknown at this point. Pretty much. So it's not like... We were doing the same gigs you together. Were, Billy Barty's Roller Rink, you know, a, a couple gigs we did with Metallica back then, even. And I'm looking at uh, Steel. The opening track is Steeler and and Cold Day in Hell, which mm -hmm. if, you, if people have the first Steeler album, you would know the song. It's probably the best known song on that record. But what's interesting is Steeler is known for being the band that launched Ingve Malmsteen. Ingve, right. The Ingve's not on this. So no. this was before he came to this country. And I'm trying to see who played guitar. I don't, I don't know. I, it, uh, actually, Ron Keel himself played lead guitar, according to this. Interesting. So I'd love to hear that. Yeah, well, there Ron. it is, the red the red vinyl for you. Malice is on here with two tracks. Two the tracks, only band right. With two. And then how long after this did you guys get signed to Atlantic? I mean, you did the EP next, well, right? Well, that was the EP was next, and that was uh, after we pulled in uh, Bob and uh, Juan. Right, right. And that's the thing that I think a lot of people would love, and we've talked about before, is that EP to be reissued. I'm going to, rele I'm going to release it next year. Do you know where the masters possible. are? Oh, yeah, sure. You, you do. Because isn't that tied my up possession. with... Wasn't it tied up with some sort of legal stuff <laughs> at, at some point? Uh, at one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now you're good. We you move forward. It out. Good to go. Sure, next year. Mm -hmm. All right. Because so, they're, they're all Pierce e. Crosby compositions. You know, so there's I've not been a asked, problem releasing them. I've been asked by um, our t our technical team if mm. you would be so kind to not do the lollipop because it's coming oh. over the air. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> well, that's what you do when you quit smoking and try to quit smoking. <laughs> Better you do the lollipop than smoking. <laughs> no lollipop while All you're right. talking on the air, please. Fuck you. Give me a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you reached out to me about coming on because you said you had yeah. a lot of stuff you wanted to talk about. So well, but sure. before we take some calls from the audience, the floor is yours. What do you want to... Well, I was just saying, you know, we're getting ready to go. You know, I'm still out on the road doing the solo stuff, and it's been amazing, the meet and greets. It's incredible. It really you is. played in... I, uh, Monsters on the Mountain. Uh -huh. I missed you because I couldn't oh, stay, amazing. but I heard I it was mean, a great these show. These meet and greets are becoming like these Grateful Dead sessions for me. You know, they're bringing kids dressing up like the 80s, you know, and it's like the tattoos, the rat tattoos. It's like looking at me, you know, <laughs> people dress up like a, a Halloween here, but it, it's been amazing. I just want to say, you know, thanks to everybody out there. And and we're still out touring and uh, ratting and rolling, yeah. And it's all good. And please come down. The meet and greets are just crazy. I, I have to bring that up. And the new record, Legacy, like I say, Golden Robot. When's that going to come them. out? Uh, most probably January, uh, February. Okay. And it's going to be a pretty incredible uh, a record because it will have stuff on there that you'll never hear you'll never get unless i give it to you because mm -hmm. they're from personal uh, recordings of the of my career so that's all good and then next year work on the, the uh start working on the next solo record the sixth solo record now you were do doing some work on that already here in vegas right yeah yeah i recorded one thing already at studio 77 there one track and try to get a getting a feel for things and it's going to work. So I'll be there, start laying down some uh, solo stuff soon enough. Excited. It's been way too long. Right there again, we have a ton of songs, Eric and I, you know, plenty, plenty of songs. I mean, I even leak some out ideas out there and get feedback, but it's all good. Eric okay. is uh, your guitarist in Ferentinos. your band, Ferentinos. Yeah. He recently had a heart attack, right? Yeah, he did. Is he, he recovered okay? from a heart attack, and it was pretty crazy, actually, at the end of the set. You know, he hung Oh, it happened there. on stage? Yeah, after, uh, after a set. It was like total gladiator, you know, and <laughs> survived. 
you know, incredibly. So we, did he go down on stage in the middle of a, a Pretty show? close, you know, after the, after the show, he was pretty weak at the knees and the ambulance and the whole thing and stayed in town and they cleared him out, 99% blockage he had. Uh, he was ready to, uh, it wasn't a good moment. And well, it could have been worse. So and thank now God he's, he's back. Okay. Yeah, he's back playing, doing he's, the he's, same he, shit. You know, like he bounced right back. Bounced right back, jumping up and down like a crazy guy he is, and it's all good. It's a it's a miracle. So we're having a great time out there touring. Come down. And the band also, when I was at Monsters on the Mountain, when I was walking around, before you got there, I ran into Johnny Monaco. He's in the band now, too. Yeah, right? he is. Great guitar player. Good so addition. do you have two or three guitar players two. in the band now? Just two. Two. So Johnny's Eric in Eric and Johnny. Yeah. Eric and Johnny. Mm -hmm. And then who's playing drums? Is it Coogan? It's Scott Coogan. Okay, so he's still there. Scotty's still there. Good. And uh, Jerry, and uh, see what happened. I mean, we're just having a great time, you know. And and getting to the thing that, of course, everybody is always going to ask you about, want to know about, mm -hmm. is the is is Rat. Now, Rat is not in existence right now. No. But, but you are the sole place. I mean, there's no... If people want to hear Rat songs, Correct. you're the place to hear it with that's your where, That's where you're going to hear it. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather have this than... Uh, uh, the brand cover band, so to speak. Not disrespectful, but look, you know, no Warren. He ch chooses to kick back, and that's all great. And Bob, everybody's pretty much laid back except for me. So, you know, I'm I'm just taking care of business. What are the relations among the, the four of you like right now? Are you guys in touch, it's, or is it It's weird? all business, pretty much, you know. There's no business in the rat unfortunately camp and and that's unfortunate but you know that's where i do my thing that's where i end up uh so among the four among yourself juan uh -huh. bobby and warren right are you talking to anybody right now or no i talk to bob every now and then that's about it that's it uh -huh. and is there issues with warren or juan or it's just well warren i guess chooses you know to just be laid back and you know from what we you know i gather and that's all cool you know i have a, the last song me and him wrote i'm gonna put out you know it's amazing um but yeah that's it you know if you want to hear rat you're getting it here and that's it you know and you did rat for a while under the rat name with just you and juan that's not gonna yeah but anymore. that just doesn't cut it you know i mean look i i've it, it would be great if we all pulled together, but it's not going to happen. You, you, I mean, you're dealing with, a, a, you know, a lot of ego. Who knows? I don't know. I don't give a shit, actually. So this but is, where, said, this is where, where it starts is where it's going to end, and that's with me. And right. I'm out there just doing doing what I do. You know? No, and I get that. And your band No sounds, disrespect to anybody. No, I get that. But what I'm saying is you were clear and very transparent not too yeah. long ago about rat is only going to be if you can get the four guys the, the, the four guys together and do mm, rat again sure right so you wanted that at one point, yeah at one point and now it looks like and i'm getting a vibe like you've kind of given up on that and you're like, yeah there's, that there's no reason yeah i mean look i have a partner who you know it's it's uh uh like pulling teeth doing good business you know so who would that partner be who are you talking about uh the other guy and rat <laughs> I don't want to get into the, the the BS of it, but I mean, look, I'd rather be out there than having the band out there with just me and the bass player in Rat. That's not what Rat was. Well, I agree with Rat that. was Crosby, Piercy, uh, D. Martini, Bobby, and Juan, and so be it. And I'd rather have you know uh, give a bit of integrity to the to the band because it was a great rock band, and just continue doing what I do. Well, I can't beat a dead horse or try to bullshit people, you know. I appreciate you saying that because I feel because we, uh, you and I are at a lot of the same events and festivals yeah. that, and you and I both know there's a ton of bands out there that if some with no original members, some there's one original member and it sure. might be like the second bass player or the drummer right, or whatever. Right, right. So we, but th there's a lot of that out there, yeah. and m amazingly. Some of it still gets booked, some of and some fans are still there for it. Yeah. My point is, you're the singer. You're yeah. the face yeah. of Rat. Well, you I wrote sang the songs. all the songs, you I wrote, wrote the, the songs. songs. Right. Yeah. I mean, so we know all that. Yeah. If if you went out 
J- just you, from a business standpoint, sure. we all know how much value there is in name, yeah. which is why people go to war over who owns the name. Sure, sure. If you went out there as with a great band or the band you have now or mm-hmm. whatever under the name Rat, that would be a, as legitimate as more than half of what's on tour from the 80s right now because most of it doesn't even have the real singer. Well, of course. I don't consider myself that, but that's what this is i mean look uh, like i said no disrespect we've had a lot of great players come and go that's where the problem is we've had people coming and going and coming and going you know rat is not all these different people rat was these five guys right. and no disrespect you know people want to lay back great you know i don't you know and that's where it is so you know you're right all these different members and that's cool too you know you want to see you see the brand you see the name and you expect it to be kiss well there's no ace there's no uh peter you know what i'm saying priest judas priest or the other guys you know uh so be it and i and i don't give it it doesn't really bother me because i mean the way things are going and and, you know at my meet and greets it's it's a, a 360 compared to the the bullshit of go, of being in something that's really not the real thing no crosby no d martini you know what i'm saying do you regret having done shows with just you and juan under the rat name yeah actually yeah, yeah. because it's not the same i mean you know i don't like to bullshit look if you want to hear the songs i wrote them come see me play them you know i sang them you know maybe somebody else helped rearrange them or add some lyrics i don't know but it's all the same who owns the name rat could you use it if you wanted to um or is i'm it not re- going there and i really don't want to you know right but it's a two of us yeah oh, okay so it's business, it, yeah. it's not just a one person no okay it's a joint thing mm-hmm. so in order if somebody wanted to use it I know you don't want to get into the. Business. I haven't even this. We we. It's not even up for discussion. I don't think it's fair. But, but to one the, person couldn't is what I'm saying. In other words, not one person among the four of you could go out under be, that. Name. Well, the other guys can. No, no, they cannot. No, they cannot without you. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's yeah. that's what I'm wondering about. Yeah, but it's all good. I mean, like I said, we're out there, and, and I'm digging deep. I mean, it's it's been a while since we're doing songs like. The morning after, which oh, cool. I'm going to introduce into the set, and things the band didn't even couldn't do, you know, the the last incarnation of Rat. But that's where it bugs me. I had I had to say last incarnation. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. There we go. Right, because there. That's what. But there were there were versions of Rat without you in it. Uh, yeah. At and point. That's kind of silly, right? Right. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. You your your position is. Unless it's the guys, why not? You're yeah. going to do your own thing. Of course, yeah. and I can, and that's where I have the privilege, you know, and a good time doing it. Yeah, you know? yeah. But anyway, it's all good. Um, I do want to talk about. Uh, have you seen those commercials we've done recently? The uh, what do you call that? Uh, uh, for the dollar. Oh yeah, Chuck, but, buddy Chuck but what do you call yeah, those? Yeah. What do you call Zamboni. those machine? The Zamboni. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was going to bring that up. Uh, yeah, well, those are online, but if you live here yeah. in Vegas, you see them on TV. Yeah. But you did one, Sebastian You're did right. one. Flava Flav, Flav, I think. Flav, Vince. I was going to ask you, uh, uh, so I, I brought it up. Yeah, yeah. Did you have fun doing that? <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. They uh, uh, turned that thing into a hot rod. The, the headers and the flames and the full blower. Huh. Yeah, yeah, it was great. The day, the day you yeah. shot that, you guys were shooting that. Chuck called me and said, "Come down and check mm. it out." I couldn't because I was working. But um, our, our friend Chuck Brennan, who owns yeah. these stores, these loan centers right. all yeah. around California and Nevada, uh-huh. has a series of TV commercials that many people and have probably arena. seen. And a new arena in Henderson here in Nevada, yeah. which he's going to be doing a, a to-be-announced big event at, I that's believe, right. coming up soon, that's which right. is great. So um, that's cool. You can see that. People that don't live in the Vegas area, you can see those. YouTube, or California, yeah. you can see them on YouTube, but they're a lot of fun. Um, all right. Well, listen, you want to take some questions from the audience? Well, sure. And then I'm out of here. I got work to do. All right. Well, we'll keep another 20 minutes. Is you that cool? We'll studio do a- tomorrow, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I got, right. got to tighten up the uh, legacy. How are you feeling about the voice these days? It's great. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, well, I'm being accused of using uh, uh, tape. 
Are you seriously? Yeah, it's crazy, and it's all good. You know, I know when I sing good and bad, you know, and I could give a shit there because I just have a good time. You know, I just turn the switch on, and there he goes, you know. Uh, That's kind yeah. of a backhanded compliment, though. I talked it's to Vivian pretty, Campbell yeah, about that because he said Vivian was on with me a couple weeks ago. He's, he goes, you know, we put so much work into <laughs> our vocals that people accuse us of of running tracks for our backing vocals. He goes, that's kind of a backhanded compliment because yeah. he goes, I can tell you we're doing it real and it's so good people think that it's fake. Uh -huh. And we had somebody that was really eminent one time. They wouldn't take an, a no. Then I'm really? like, well, fuck me. Okay. Well, I did you ever do moment. that? Did Rat ever do that? Uh, no, 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 never would. I mean, you know, oh, that's I'm worst. old school, man. The I'm worst. Zeppelin, Stones, you know, those kind of Warts bands. And Early all. Aerosmith, you know, to where you, you sing different lyrics, you might fuck up, but it's all that's about what the live end. is. It's that's the, the whole live experience, yeah. man. It's yeah. not supposed to be perfect. Yeah. So that kind of always bugged us. Uh, I think the furthest we've gone is having a click. Oh, yeah, okay, no, up there, click, yeah, click, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever, yeah. whatever. Even that's, even that's a no, no in my band. Is that right? <laughs> my solo band. Yeah, I don't buy that shit. Yeah. yeah. No, man, live buzzing off the amps and oh, vocals. Yeah. The, oh yeah. Warts and all. That's the only way rock and roll should you ever be, it. in my opinion. And I'll, I'll believe that till my last breath. So there you go. All right. Well, listen. A few people yeah. want to say hello to you. Sure. So let's take a quick little break here, Joel. And then when we come back. We'll, uh, we'll take a few phone calls for Steven, then we'll let him get out of here because he's got stuff to do. And uh, we'll continue talking with you and talking rock music here on Trunk yeah. Nation. Faction Talk, Sirius XM 103, right back with your calls for Steven Piercy, the voice of Rat, uh -huh. next. Steven, before we take some calls, you uh -huh. were just telling me that the uh, some of this unreleased material that will come out on this coming record yeah there's stuff on there that uh that even goes back to when jakey lee was in the oh band. yeah there, yeah there will be a song with jakey and you know it, it was always asked if we ever wrote a song together i think we have and i have it so we'll i mentioned see. to you one of my favorite rat songs is never use love yeah and you were saying that that goes back way early right that's a mickey rat song late 70s as is in your direction and, and the whole EP uh, I wrote ages ago. Um, but Never Use Love with Jake is insane, dude. So you have a recording of that with Jake? Oh, yeah. It's crazy. A bunch of songs of him doing a bunch of songs. That's where Warren learned the solos is from Jake. Oh, wow. When they lived together and Warren wasn't in the band yet and Jake was ready to, uh, to split because of Dio and, and eventually Ozzy. But they, he taught him all the licks. You can hear it in these recordings. And Matt on bass, you know, it's crazy. That'd the be ar really, the archive I, the archives I have. That would be know. really cool to hear some of that stuff. So that'll, that'll be, that's basically what you're working on, yeah, compiling right. for this next record. And in the studio tomorrow, And then too, the new yeah. stuff, right. Yeah. All sure. Right. All right, let's get a few phone calls in for Stephen Piercy, who is here with us now. Here is Jeff, who's in Palm Springs, and he is our first caller today. What's going on, Jeff? Hey, Eddie, I love what you do. And Mr. Piercy, it's a pleasure to talk to you, sir. Thank you. Hey, so um, Yo. I'm a huge fan of, I'm a huge fan of uh, View to a Thrill and mm. uh, a huge fan of yours, obviously. Uh, I just want to say this really quick before I ask my question. I yeah. think that the Stephen Piercy solo band should be co-headlining the stadium tour in place of Motley Crue because you are ah. revived every time I've seen you. And Motley Crue is not. They've admitted that. So I'm just going to put that out there. Okay, well, so, you know um, what? Thank you very much, brother. And you mentioned View to a Thrill. I love that. Yes, yes. And I think, Stephen so, would, I think Stephen would be there tomorrow if he was offered the opportunity to co-headline the stadium. Oh, tour. yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. And, yeah. And, you know, next year we're doing, I'm doing something that's going to coincide with the record. It's a tour, and it's going to be embracing the full, the full 80 Sunset Strip thing. Keep an eye out for that. I will. Hey, so I want to ask you something about, um, and I hope you don't mind me asking about the July 99 self-titled Rat album. Uh -huh. the, reason I'm bring, the reason I'm bringing it up is because top to bottom, it's my favorite Rat album because those songs are so bluesy, you know, like every song on that record. I mean, I love Like Over the, the Edge? The, like yeah, Over the I Edge, that kind Sick. of stuff? Specific, specifically Love Sick 
That song oh. just gets me every time. That's such a great record. C- can you tell me about like what was going on during that time? Do you mind talking about that? I've always loved that album. Real quick, wow. Well, I hate to burst your bubble and say it's not my favorite rat record. Um, yeah. We had a lot of writers on that record. It was like we were thrown into this fishbowl of... Uh, yeah, you know, go right with so and so. Was that the Claudner record? The John Claudner, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah ninety nine. Yeah, been, it was yeah. a Claudner. Cla- yeah, it, the we second were, to last rat record, right? Correct. And we were thrown into this uh, thing, and it wasn't like I said. It wasn't really all the original guys, uh, if I'm correct. It had Robbie Crane on bass, right? I don't, I have to look it up. I don't really know that record that well. I think it does. But anyway, yeah, you know, and so I thought it was an interesting time. I wasn't in a good place, but I ended up writing lyrics and co-writing songs. Uh, It wasn't my favorite. And you had said that um, a lot of people like Infestation, which is the last rat record to be made. But you've said in the past that's not... You didn't think that you thought that missed the mark a little bit in retrospect. Well, I mean, no disrespect, but it's the same thing I'm elaborating on with Rat. If it's not these five, the five elements, no disrespect. I don't give a shit who hates who or who what. This, you know, these five guys made that happen. And as soon as they started going down in numbers with Robin, it was over. You well, know, sadly, you can't have the five, but you can have the four because Robin's correct. gone. Correct. And we did at one time. Right. And did it really make a difference? No. Was it really up to par, my opinion? No. I mean, look, Warren's an amazing guitar player, but if you don't have the right chemicals, you ain't making the right potion, so to speak. You know. Let's say hello to um, Russell, who is in Kentucky. Got a question for Stephen Piercy. What's up, Russ? Hey, Eddie, real quick, something for you. I don't know if you remember The Decline of Western Civilization Part 2, but uh, next time you see that, I'll watch it again over the weekend. Check out what uh, Lemmy, what kind of T-shirt Lemmy's wearing. What is it? I don't remember. <laughs> it's the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, we'll let Lemmy anyway, slide because he's Lemmy. <laughs> he's no longer with us. I can't give him a shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Uh, Stephen, is uh, nice talking to you. I seen you in Beaver Pleasure. Dam, Kentucky here about a month ago. Ah, great gig. And yeah, and you played Sweet Cheetah. I was proud of that. I was I was the one hollering out Sweet Cheetah and then you played it and I was like, I don't uh, think it was for me, but I appreciate it. <laughs> well, no problem. And that's see, that's another thing I I get to do in my solo band is play these deep cuts, play these songs that I like. Like you got it. You know, I dwell on the E P a lot. You mm-hmm. know, forget back for more. That's always in the set. But right. Cheater, um, probably my, you probably got my it. Personal favorite ever. Yeah, I'd love to uh, do my, tell the world. Actually, you know. My question Thank is: you. Is uh, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, it was a great show. Bullet Boys, I thought, put on an excellent show as well. First time I'd ever seen them. Mm. Um, do you ever plan on, or does Rat ever plan on releasing anything with uh, the King Crosby a uh, documentary, a video? You know, I know there was the his personal documentary out. But is there some like un- footage that's not been seen anywhere? And, yes. Uh, also, do, do you plan on never maybe hooking up with Jake again since y'all both live in Vegas and maybe Vegas. doing an old Mickey Rat set or something? That's that's a possibility. We'll see. I might. You know. Yeah. Have you seen Jake since you've been here? Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. I no. haven't either. He, he was so so. Thank you, Russell, for the call. So J- so Russell's correct. Jakey Lee yeah. does live in Vegas. Stephen does now as well. Mm-hmm. Um. That's why we're here today. I do part time, but yep. uh, uh, Jake used to. Jake was doing his own band, did a couple records, was mm-hmm. out and about touring, active or what have you. Yeah. But he's kind of gone gone underground underground a bit. I uh, I would love to play with that would be cool with Jake. Oh yeah, Jake has always been you know a great guitar player. You know he has he had his own thing. You know, like I said, Warren picked up some of those solo bits from Jake. Yeah. No shit, you yeah, know. Yeah. Um that would be that's a great yeah. that's something I didn't think of, Russell. That's a great call, man. Yeah, that is really a great cool call. if you did if you if you tracked him down out here because I don't even know if he's still sure. doing Red Dragon Cartel, well, which was the band he was doing. The thing so. we're doing next year, I can pull anybody in, anybody respectfully from the '80s strip thing. You know, it's gonna be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that would be cool if you could do that. I I never thought sure, about that. Sure, Jake, that's a if great, you're listening or idea, anybody, Russ. get your ass over here. 
Here's Esperanza calling from Temecula. Hi, Esperanza. You're on with Stephen Piercy. Hi. Um, I just want to ask about favorite uh, touring memory with Rat. My favorite touring memory with Rat. Well, I I I say it in my book and everything because it was kind of cool. Was Robin and I uh, in a limo? Uh, uh, when Rat was playing uh, headlining Madison Square Gardens and we're in the limo going up that twirly, uh, you know, entrance that they show in the song remains sure. the same, yeah. you know? And me and Robin going, it's kind of like Led Zeppelin, right? But not really. But at least we're headlining, <laughs> the, you know, Madison Square Gardens. That was, that's one trip I always think about. Always just looking at each other, just laughing, going, yeah. Look I was at, at that, that show. Really made huh? it. I was I was at that show you at the garden. Really yeah, yeah, we really made it, you know. And then headlining the forum, sure, all these places. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember and, the uh, after party after the garden show? No, <laughs> I don't remember years of touring. By the way, I have so. the invites though. I was at the after party too. Thank you, Esperanza. Uh, nice. It was at a restaurant called uh, This Dawn is on the Green or something. Nope. It's not no. crazy. This was back in the day when record labels spent money yeah, your and money. did parties. Well, maybe you paid for it. Yeah, Thank we you did. for the drinks that night, Stephen. We were having a discussion <laughs> about who paid for what earlier. <laughs> there, was a re- there was a restaurant right around. Ve- it was actually right across from where Sirius XM is in New York City right now. Real uppity uppity, right? It was in, it was in Rockefeller Center. It was yeah. a restaurant called The Dish of Salt. Dish of Salt. And there your you go. rest And your after party after the garden was there. I was yeah, at it. Yeah, I bet. Uh, you, know, you, you, you put a nice spread on without I you knowing I bet we it. did, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I got this hefty tab later. Oh, man. But those were the days when they yeah. threw some money around. Here's, uh, yeah. here's Tom. Tom's in Boise, Idaho. He's got a question for Stephen Piercy. Yo. Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? Tom S. Can you hear me? Yes. We got you, How man. How are you? Sorry, bro. Hey, um, you know, I don't think Robin gets enough credit for the sound of the band, right? Um, Correct. I'm sure you would agree. Correct. Who were some of his biggest influences? You don't hear much about that. Well, Robin was really influenced. Like when I met him in San Diego... 70s he was really into like hendrix and uli uh god uh oh definitely billy gibbons uh big time billy gibbons fan uh trower uh people you wouldn't expect you know and then it he and then he ends up with the king sound you know was he was he um by choice thank you tom for the call was was robin crosby by choice a rhythm guitar player predominantly like was he comfortable in that later role? on and he wasn't comfortable with it no. he wanted to play lead more well he wanted to do what he was you know what he was uh put there to do play solos robin's solos were brutal i have some of his solos i'm putting on legacy brutal in a good way in a great way right. is in a great way yeah um, on this legacy record, it's going to have stuff you've never heard. I mean, there's a solo on there, a live rat show of Robin speaking of Robin. That's insane. You know, these dive bombs and the fun stuff, you know, excuse me, the fun stuff rat was known for, you yeah. know, this bluesy bullshit rat doesn't get it. You know, we were a hard rock band when Robin was, you know, in the band predominantly as a solo guy and at one time robin was on isolated on his own side of the stage but warren was progressing so much robin and i decided let's put him over there and let this kid develop mm. and sure he did warren d martini did develop yeah Look, yeah and robin took a back seat to it didn't really like it as Bo hill would say you know right. they throw him bounds and it you know just less and less so there were moments in uh, 
Oh, actually, round and round is a harmony guitar sure, solo sure. where they would harmonize and play together. Right. But but uh, Warren was predominantly the lead guitar player. Yeah. But I always wondered about that because I didn't I I, had, I didn't know Robin at all. So I was yeah. always wondering how he was wired about that. If it oh, was yeah. something he kind of reluctantly accepted, or he or he was reluctantly accepted because yeah. we knew it was just business. And, and, we and just Warren wanted was to be becoming a, a guitar. Hero. Warren was becoming this guitar guy. Yeah. And but his solos are great on tough back i mean some intros outros uh you know uh, that's what i love about doing a song like morning after you know we really don't dwell into the real rat mm -hmm. you know which was uh those double solo fun kind of things wasn't wasn't michael Schenker in rat for how yes a second? he was for one tour the detonator tour and it was either i play <laughs> which we didn't so halfway during the it was wrong First of all, not having Robin or a second guitar player. We had some keyboard guy. I don't know if anybody remembers that tour. It was a fail tour. You know, we barely got through it. Uh, but there was a keyboard guy, and then Michael would come out halfway through the set. I mean, we loved Michael. He was insane, round and round, double solos. You know, that was the best part of that whole tour. But was, why did he only come out for half the set? I don't know. Was it the deal you made with him, or was he? No, it was just part of the set. So know, was maybe. it just? It wasn't my idea. That's for damn sure. <laughs> was it just Warren? For Probably half? Warren's idea. Yeah, and a keyboard player. And then the keyboard player went. It's and like, what the fuck is this keyboard guy doing on stage with Rat? So yeah. then he went, and then Shanker came Shanker for the would come out. Half? Yeah. Except for when we played uh, uh, that UFO tune. You played a Lights UFO out. song? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. With, are you kidding me? That's awesome. We're UFO fans, Robin and so I. So am I. And, and Warren. Me so, too. So it's like, holy shit. Well, if he's here, we're going to be doing Lights Out every night if I had my way. And I did have my way. You know, so was like so, so was is is there any recordings of that? Yes, there is an amazing one actually. A friend of mine, I'll actually say his name, Michael LeBlanc, uh, uh, recorded in Vegas at Bally's when we headlined Bally's in 1991. I have that, and it's so insane because he video was video or audio, video and audio. He was so close because he was a friend, right? He gave him passes. He was like right up on Warren's and. Uh, 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 Michael's guitars, like right there, and that's the footage I have. I'll get that shit out. Believe me, it, be... it might be out there already, bootlegged. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I have the real deal. You know, what was it? Michael was always known as being a bit. Of, it could be a bit crazy, especially back then if he was drinking. Uh huh. He wasn't. So he was good. So you didn't. Because I'm wondering. All I remember about Michael on that tour detonated tour is he would jog a lot and do numerology and be on the phone a lot with rudolph oh wow All right. yeah, as trippy as that is right yeah, yeah. so brother meets brother but but it was fun because i look forward to lights out every night well of course that was my big payoff you know having him out there i'm just laughing because Schenker has not in recent years because he's been sober for like 15 years now yeah but in recent but 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 before that he has such a history of being <laughs> a very difficult crazy guy in and 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 stuff and i'm thinking of him thrown into you guys and yeah. your dynamic at Our that time crazy could have been shit. just a, a nightmare it yeah. could have been a nightmare but you're saying it was actually believe it or good. not it was pretty smooth <laughs> pretty <laughs> smooth insane. yeah pretty who would smooth. ever think that who would ever have thought right <laughs> and that, i'd see him on the bus every day just going it's fucking michael shanker's on my bus <laughs> sleeping on my bus who got him in the band i guess me and warren just you know i had been doing jams around hollywood at these weird clubs and he would show up and we do lights out right so it came time for that tour and i guess warren had been chatting him up too and we both decided let's ask him if he'll fucking jam and he said <laughs> yeah and it was weird i gotta tell you you know I got to see and hear some odd. of that. That is, uh, that I'll is, I'll, I'll look, I'll get you that footage. That It'll is amazing. Out. It might, like you said, some of it might be on, uh, YouTube already. It's probably bootlegged already. Yeah. Uh, uh, a few more calls here. Here's James in Chattanooga for Stephen Piercy. What's Go. going on, James? Oh, dude. Hey, what's up? Double O seven. This is James. What up? As in, uh, you remember, uh, you remember Milton? Yeah. 
Big time. I'm the grandson. I'm the what we last time we met was Tacoma back in like eighty six. Oh no that way. Age. No way. Hey man, how you doing, brother? How you I'm doing, good, big, brother. So wait, let's back up and let's let everybody else listening understand what you're talking about, James. So you are related to Milton Burrow, who of course was in so many rat videos yeah. and also his nephew managed okay. the band back he, then. What is your connection, James? I'll be more than happy to untangle that for you, Eddie. Okay. <laughs> Milton, Burrow, Milton Burrow is my grandfather. His brother, Phil, was their their manager, Marshall's father. So Marshall is my mother's cousin. Well, my mother is <laughs> no longer with us, but, yeah, my mom's cousin. So Trip out. back in 86, yo, yeah, definitely, bro. Uh, back in 86, those dudes were on tour and fixing to play the Tacoma Dome. And uh, Marshall called my mom. Uh, we lived in the Seattle area at the time, and I was in high school. Right. Uh, and, yeah, man, and, and dude, you and you and King were the two coolest dudes in the room that that, that <laughs> night, man. You two hey, were the dude, coolest d- people to me, and I appreciate it, bro. Hey, were uh, you backstage? Were you backstage? Yeah, it was me, my Be- brother, my dad, and his best okay. friend. Okay, now, now, Ann Wilson and Nancy Wilson were there too, right? I remember. Yes, the Wilson sisters were, and we looked at them. Yeah. We said hi to them, and we did not right. realize who the fuck they were at that particular moment. We're like, I just, yeah. you know, I, it never dawned on me. I was so starstruck at that time in my life. And I got I've been cr- hanging out with my grandfather and, you know, like, uh, uh, Uncle Uncle George. Uncle George. George. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. The reason I remember that gig so well, and I don't know if it's in my book, is is the Wilson sisters were backstage, right? And at mm-hmm. that time, eighty five or or whatever, eighty six. Uh, uh, Motley. Yeah, we'd run into these guys, and we were into this thing of biting people, right? <laughs> Like biting you. Well, on I your think chain. Motley wrote about that in their you book. You okay, well, any, that. well, anyway, I made the mistake of biting ants, <laughs> you and Ann her Wilson? sister slapped me. <laughs> yeah, she dong ding donged my head. I was like, "What the fuck?" So you went up to Ann Wilson and bit, her, bit her, on her on the face. face yeah, Holy shit. yeah, that's why I remember that gig. So. Yeah, it was great, man. And I follow, I follow her on, on Twitter and stuff, too, still. <laughs> oh, my God. Jim, Jim, what are yeah, you saying, sister James? Clock give Bear me. a pet for me, will you? Yeah, you got it, brother. Give Bear, um, are, you gonna, are you planning at any time to re-release? Well, is the new material coming out on vinyl when you do it, or are you going to do it on CD Yeah, first, Legacy or? is Legacy is definitely coming out on vinyl. Uh, That's going to be the name of the robot. record, Legacy? Yeah, Golden Robot Records. It's Stephen Piercy Legacy. Legacy. Legacy, yeah, and it's going to be chock full of goods. I mean, when Mark and I from Golden Robot were talking about this, we're going, you know, there's so much good material. And I had so much because I dug deep in the archives. Live Rat, Mickey Rat, two-track, just cassette, anything you could imagine. And I'm still not done looking you know so the first batch of 20 songs is going out on on the first legacy release so for people that just tuned in or maybe joined us a little bit late steven announced earlier that his next record is going to be this archival collection that's going to come out early next year that he's compiling now of music that he has found in his archives of early rat stuff recordings uh early stuff or or some of the last stuff with robin crosby and warren and the last stuff with warren and then also um maybe some stuff with jake new stuff stuff with jake the whole history of 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 my my trip you and know. the cover is going to be Stephen biting Ann Wilson's face. Um, uh, yeah, biting her face. <laughs> no, I'll be biting Christie's face. I mean. <laughs> but, and Nancy Wilson came up and smacked she you? She smacked me. She clocked me, yeah. <laughs> and it was all in fun. Here we're playing a sold-out show. Yeah. But that's not go. fun if you're literally biting. Did you, like, were you, would, when you guys would bite each other, we would, would you literally pull skin up, off? Yeah. And No, we just bite you and just, let you know we were there. All right, you just, know, and and it was Nikki and Tommy and us. We got into this biting thing. I don't know. They talked about it. I think in the dirt, where that that was a phase that they went through, where they yeah. went around biting people. Yeah, they tried to draw blood, but we didn't. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I learned a lesson. That was it. So that that previous caller, we only got like ten minutes. I'll sure. let you get out of here. The previous caller uh-huh. was talking about uh, Mil- his connection to Milton Berle yeah. and all of that. Yeah, yeah. Who, of course, loomed large in the early Rat videos. Yeah. But did Uncle Milty like actually hang with you guys? Oh yeah, he did. Oh fuck yeah, we'd go to the Friars Club in Beverly Hills. You know, and and you'd see all these comedians that would blow your mind, the Shecky Greens and the Johnny Carson and the the Cordova and uh, you name all these. We went to the first woman ever roasted, uh, Phyllis Diller. Oh, wow. That roast was amazing. You can imagine giving her shit, you know, all these heavy duty guys up there and Milton was a grand pooba. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. He was the main dude, so yeah, yeah. yeah, and he'd make fun of us in the audience. You know, it was all good. Did he ever come to rat shows back yeah. then? Yeah, a couple he did. times. Yeah, was he je- was he into the music or was he just mm. kind of? He just kind of showed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, shit, doing that video. I got to tell you, it was a trip because he which one round and round, round and round. We right. first met him and stuff. You really saw the workings of a of a real master kind of guy, you know, a film guy, a TV guy, Mr. TV, you know. He just took over. Yeah. You know? yeah Don yeah. Letts, a director, move the fuck out of the way. This is what I'm doing. All right, go. <laughs> yeah. When they trip. when the idea was first pitched to you to have Milton Berle in the really movie. round and round is like the first time you came on everyone's radar on a yeah. huge scale. When the idea was first pitched to you to have someone like Milton Berle in that role in the video, was everybody on board with it out of the gate? Oh, yeah. 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 Because, you know, there was one thing, and, and actually Milton would say it to us a lot, is, ah, don't take things so seriously in, your, in this business. You know, it's tongue in cheek. You know, have a great time. And that's, you know, where I've been ever since. You know, have a great time. But, yeah, he, uh, wow. What can I say? Yeah, well, that's... Milton Berle. Yeah, that's a... That's and then a, he did Back for More. Right. Yeah, and that was about it. But great guy. Great, great guy. A couple more quick calls for Stephen, yeah. then we got to wrap up. Here's Troy in California. Go ahead, Troy. You're on Trunk Nation with Stephen Piercy. Hey, Stephen. Hey, Eddie. Thanks for a great hey, interview. Um, right on. People already talked about this, but uh, one of the greatest shows, I think, on YouTube is Robin... Crosby and you guys at the Palace. I don't know if anybody's seen that, but there's some great dive bomb uh, guitar solos in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's and, the bootleg. Uh, so I want to ask you about. Oh, go ahead. The Palace. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great gig. It was Ozzy, Motley, Rat, uh, half live, half tape. But the guitars and vocals were live, I can say that. Was it for a TV show? Yeah, it was for a TV show. Am I right? Uh, uh, Troy, it was, was it for TV, TV, TV taping, right? I think so, yeah. Part of yeah, it, was it was live, but there's some great solos of Robin and Warren. Uh, yeah, Perkins live. Really cool. Yeah, extended versions of Morning After. Yeah, it was Morning After is on there. Yeah, I got the original yeah, VHS. Go ahead, Troy. Oh, cool, man. Yeah. yeah, I was going to ask you, I, I saw your documentary, too, that came out about a year ago, and there's a great scene of when you guys visit your old family home, and there's yeah. actually, like, I guess, like a rat uh, picture or something that was that was still there after all the years. It was pretty cool to see that, yeah. you know, so I just wanted to get your take on it, what it was like. Oh, uh, it was surreal, dude. So many years. That was totally surreal, going back to the place, besides... You know, uh, beautiful spirits are living there. Uh, yeah, we went back in the garage area. We used to rehearse Mickey Rat and Rat, and sure enough, we moved the sign, and there's the logo up there, the Rat logo, which was a trip. And the lady didn't even know who was there. I just came oh, banging I on the door. That. Yeah, yeah, that was really cool, too. Hello. Uh, I, I used to that. live here. Yeah, yeah, that's in there as well. I do remember seeing that in, the, in that doc. Yeah, it was kind of cool. Danny in North Carolina. Go ahead, Danny. Hey, uh, Stephen, this is Danny. Uh, listen, I was in uh, the Army in 1984. And yes, sir. We couldn't have music. We couldn't have music for three months or TV because I was in basic training. Well, oh. week before graduation, they let us go, go to the uh, PX and buy, you know, our first entertainment. I bought a, bought a Sony Walkman and a cassette that I had never heard of. 
rat out of the cellar. Nice. You can imagine. You can imagine what that sounded like after not hearing no music for three months, and I was a hard rock fan. Well, I that's way crazy. cool. That is way cool story, yeah. dude. Yeah. Wow. You still have the cassette, Danny? No, I wore still... that damn thing out a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, right. And but now they're hip the, again. Uh, re- but I do have the reissues of uh, all the rock candy reissues y'all got on CD. I wish the, the EP would come out. Um, the EP I'm going to make available next year, actually. Yeah, we talked about that earlier, Danny. As part of these reissues that Stephen is doing, yeah. the EP is something a lot of people want. It would be great to get like a, a deluxe edition it's of that. It's going back maybe. into vinyl right away. Yeah, but yeah. even come out on maybe CD remastered, maybe with some bonus tracks sure. or something. That, that would happen. be really, really cool. And, Danny, thank you for your service thank in the you, military. Brother. Appreciate that, man. Always got to shout that out. Totally. Maybe one more... Uh, one or two more if we have time before we got to end. Here's Joe in Vancouver. Joe in Canada. Go ahead, buddy. Hey, Stephen. Hey, Eddie. Uh, Steve, hey, brother. Uh, I was also going to say the same thing about the dock, how awesome it was when you went back to the house and there was, like, stickers and stuff you wrote on the walls and stuff still there or whatever. <laughs> awesome. I know, right? But, yeah, so cool. Um, what? Because I'm up in Vancouver, don't get a lot of chances to see you. So I'm hoping one of these days you'll get over the border on this side, not in the Montreal, Toronto side. And uh, just want to let you know I've been waiting and waiting for a chance to see you. And I saw it got announced you were playing in Vegas at one of my favorite venues, the Golden Nugget. So I jumped on that right away with uh, front row seats, and I'll be flying in for that. And then like two weeks later, it got announced a show in uh, Washington at the Snoqualmie, which is two hours from me. So I'm literally going to see you on... Two times in less than a week, so I'm excited well, way about cool, it. Well, cool, dude. Well, you yeah, made a I'll face like a... you didn't even know about these shows, Stephen. Are these shows happening? I know, right? <laughs> because you're like, really? I'm doing that? <laughs> yeah, well, that's cool. I know Vegas. I yeah, tickets. yeah. Well, way um, cool, dude. So, yeah. I look... Well, hook, when, when, you, when you're there, hook us up. Try to get to the meet and greet there or just... Well, for sure. Oh, yeah. I was already emailing with your, uh, maybe Christy or someone else about meet and greets before you officially put it out that hey come to i was like can i meet steven can i pay to meet him whatever and then literally you put out that statement saying that uh you were going to be doing that and so oh yeah i'll be i'll be at both meet and greets at both and two times in a week so i'm psyched about it i appreciate it number one thank you very much number two we'll put on a great show for you brother oh i thank you joe i know you will hope you enjoy the show yeah thank you for sure i will Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening, man. Appreciate it. Uh, right on. One final, final quick one. Way uh, cool, way cool, way cool. Uh, Brian in Minnesota has been waiting a real long time. Go ahead, Brian, real quick. Hey, uh, Stephen. Uh, great to talk to you again. I uh, also was on with you the last time you were on. Um, oh, way cool. Real quickly, on talking about uh, the reissues and the stuff you're going to be putting out as far as rare tracks and live stuff. Um, yeah. Any thought along those lines of doing a really comprehensive, super deluxe box set of rat, like rare yes. live stuff? Yes, yes, yes. And I've actually been compiling some of that stuff while I'm going through the legacy. The legacy goes awesome. in one pile, and the rat live that I really like, I have already have a folder for. So yes, 100%, hopefully next year. The first I'm comprehensible live that. visual and audio, yes. Yeah, it hasn't been done. There's plenty of bootlegs, but they don't really get close, you know. Right. Thanks, Stephen. Great to talk You're to you. You're welcome. All right, Brian, thank you. Real quick, I think I have time. Letty in Wichita. This is actually funny. Letty, go ahead with your question. I just want to know which is the shittiest place you've ever played at. <laughs> the hideous? No, the shittiest. The shittiest, the place, shittiest ever... place you've ever played in. That's <laughs> oh a great my question. God. What is the shittiest gig you ever did, Steve? What a brilliant question. It What's is. the shittiest place we've ever played? Where? Wow, you're asking Christy. I'm sure it goes back <laughs> well before she was born. No. Well, the shittiest, <laughs> well, I can't really say 
because every place, even first moving to L.A. in 1980, happened to play Madame Wong's East, Madame Wong's West, The Central, Troubadour, Gazares, you know. I was there think- a gig that was just a, tra- like the whole thing, it's top to bottom, a train wreck, just didn't go well, oh, band fell God. apart. Yeah, felt- recently, but I well, really recently, don't want to right. say. Well, I know that's been, di- we've covered that. I don't Thankfully, wanna... you're okay now, but yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. looking at your knees and I'm seeing the scars on them. Oh, yeah. Which was played into you being, uh, you know, having a, a, a trouble on stage, but yeah, 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 I'm all good now. Believe it or not, it's crazy. You know, my uh, dad just had knee, had knee replacement. I know it's a bitch. It is a bitch. Um, listen, that music means I have to end. And thank you very much, Ed. Always and you good guys to see you, out brother. there, if you want to see what's happening, official com and way appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody. I love chatting with you. Thank you, everybody, for uh, tuning in. Back live tomorrow on Faction Talk 103 with Corey Taylor. And uh, yes. live with you again in about nine minutes over on 39 Hair Nation. We love Talk Corey. To you yes. See ya. Bye.